this is basically got the things right and what the policy is required in India. Why should we have a policy different from that is used elsewhere all of that I have done. I will go a little bit deeper into battery. This is still an introduction. There is a full two chapters on battery later on. Hmm? Remember, I will keep on repeating the battery costs are high, battery costs are high and will remain high for some time. So, a little bit now, I have talked about what is the real difference between policy required for ICE vehicle and electric vehicles, how swapping and charging can be done. What I will now do is a go a little bit deeper into the battery because battery is very heavy cost. So, I need to go a little deeper. As I pointed out earlier also, the battery life depends on multiple factor. Life is number of charge discharge cycles before I have to replace the battery. That is the battery life. The first thing it depends on battery chemistry used. So, near battery chemistry starts giving me better life. But remember, anytime you want higher life, cost will be higher. So, you can get let us say 800 cycles, the cost will be certain amount. You can get 1500 cycles, cost will go up. You want 3000 cycles, cost goes up even further. So, number of charge discharge cycle depends on what is the kind of battery, what is the battery chemistry that I use. The second thing is rate of charging discharging. I pointed out whenever you charge fast, it impacts the life of the battery. Ideal charging time is 5 hours, 6 hours, 7 hours. Then you get the maximum life and you charge at 25 degree centigrade or close to that. But in reality, that is not always possible. So, to that extent, rate of charging, discharging that I would use, not just charging, discharging also. Hmm? Hmm? And discharging very often cannot be 7 hours. I probably at times I will start discharging faster. I will define what is the, how do you calculate this rate of charging. As I told you temperature, it depends on the temperature. Ideal is 25 degrees centigrade. Battery always behaves best at lithium ion battery best behaves at 25 degrees centigrade. Above 25 degrees centigrade, number of cycles reduces. Below 25 degrees centigrade, number of cycles reduces. Best life is at 25. So, I will say between 20 and 30 by and large you get good cycles above 30 starts going down, 35 slightly down, 15 it is slightly down, above 35, 40 it starts getting bad, 45 is really bad, that is where it starts hurting. Lower 15 is ok, 10 starts becoming bad, 5 really bad. Now, of course, there are different battery chemistry which has a wider range. The other point that I made in the opening lectures is that are you going to charge the battery and discharge the battery fully? Are you going to use it fully charge 100 percent and fully discharge 0 percent while charging or using? If you operate between 0 and 100 percent, the battery life goes down. You need to not discharge it fully, you not charge fully. This is called depth of discharge or DOD. And of course, there is what is called calendar life. Even if you leave the battery uh, out there, the battery life keeps on going down. Of course, the battery life goes down as a what is called square root of time. So, in the beginning, the deterioration, first few months, battery will deteriorate some extent. After that, it will keep going down. For longer term, it does not deteriorate as much, but you need to worry about it, hmm? the calendar life. So, there is a parameter called state of health of the battery. State of health of a battery is how much it has been used and what is, is it still giving you the full capacity or is it giving you 90 percent of the capacity that it started with or is it giving you 80 percent of the capacity that it started with. That is called state of health or is it giving you 75 percent. If it 
gives you around 75 percent or 80 percent, which means your range that you could go will go down to 75 percent or 80 percent and you will say a vehicle I anyway just about accepted 50 kilometer, now it is giving me only 35, 40, I will not like to use it. That is the end of life of a battery. It does not mean the battery has finished, capacity has gone down. Vehicle because you want range, you cannot use it. If there is no issue of range, you could have used it more. But that is a very interesting thing. You can take the battery out, it still has 75 or 80 percent of capacity. You can use it in stationary environment. Stationary environment size and weight does not matter so much. You can put two batteries and you can use it. So, it can go below 75 percent to maybe 65 percent. 50 percent, you can use it, it is not the battery has got spoiled. But by the time you have used it 50, 40 percent, you see the battery does not behave very well. That is a time you really need to dispose it. So, there is a first life of the battery in electric vehicles, second life of the battery in fixed environment, after that take it for recycling. Okay? As I pointed out, battery life depends on the rate of charging. Slow charge at 25 degree centigrade, best fast charge impacts battery life. Typical battery life could be 500 to 2000 cycles. Battery with 500 to 1000 cycles are cost low, with 1500 to 2000 are medium costs, and 3000 to 4000 costs much higher. Batteries with capability of fast charge cost higher. So, this is a simple fundamental fact that everyone must know. The question that is sometime asked, if you want to go and get a battery, how many cycles will we choose? I will say well depends on the lifetime that vehicle is likely to travel over its lifetime. lifetime much distance will travel. For example, let us say the battery is 600 kilometer Tesla. Now, if you do even 800 cycles, you do half a million kilometer 500,000. Now, is the, is the vehicle likely to travel half a million? Unlikely, you are going to replace it. In that case, 800 to 1000 cycles is enough. You do, so, Tesla uses batteries which are low number of cycles, 800 to 1000 cycles. Cost, initial cost is very high, range it gives you very large. As long as you can pay high initial cost, the cost of battery is relatively less because only 800 to 1000 cycles and occasional fast charge is also okay. Because instead of 800, even if you get 600, 600 into 600 is around 400,000, 350,000. A typical vehicle I know even in the west, you normally use it for 150,000 or kilometer or something like that. You do not use it much more, 200,000. You sell it. I remember I used to buy old vehicle when I was a student there. Uh, which had 150,000. So, I will use it for two, another 50,000 second use. So, 350, 400,000 is enough and therefore, 800 to 1000 cycles is enough. But suppose my own vehicle, I have an electric vehicle, I am using for 5 years, that is a 100 kilometer range. Now, if I want my life to be 200,000, I need 2000 cycles. So, I cannot use the 800 cycle one. A 50 kilometer range, if I get 1500 cycles, I will get 75,000 kilometers, which may be enough. So, even how many cycles for need depends on the kind of vehicle, but very often these questions are commercially, of course, you will understand when you buy, the person who sells understand very often the government officers, the policy makers do not understand that. Policy makers have big lacuna, they do not understand that. So, a 600 kilometer even with occasional fast charge, 
and sometime even 10 minutes charge. Battery is expensive. Hmm? 100 kilometer range car with similar fast charge would only charge 25 kilometer. That is a very interesting thing. That is another thing. One said, well, you have a fast charger which charges in one hour, but it charges a full battery in one hour. Now, if you have a 600 kilometer Tesla car, you do not have to charge, you have run out of battery, you do not have to charge it fully. You charge only 150 kilometers in 15, 15 minutes and you say in 15 minutes I have been able to charge and go forward, because 150 kilometers is quite a bit. You may not need more time, more. Because you are going somewhere, you have already traveled 4, 500 kilometer, 550 kilometer. Now you are worried about you, your distance is slightly higher longer, you charge and it is okay. Now you cannot do this if my battery is small. Battery is small because I initially did not want to spend too much money, 100 kilometer. If I charge for 15 minutes, I will get only, even with the fast charger, only get 25 kilometer. Again, these intricacies are not understood. People advi advertise and our government also say, I want a fast charger which can charge in 15 minutes. They are also not using anything extraordinary. Just that their 15 minutes is 150 kilometer because they have a large battery to begin with. So, these are the questions that one has to do and I have given you a home assignment. And in this, I have told you how do you cost effectively compute the cost of usage of 1 kilowatt hour battery. I will do it in more detail, but I have this will tell you, you can either use a spreadsheet, there is a formula called PMT hmm, and we will give this is speed will that, that will be able to give you. Of course, the PMT formula is given by this. Huh? where interest rate is given, the number of years you need to calculate, that also you can actually do this. We will later on get into more details of this. Any questions so far? So, what I have done, I have tried to demystify this whole charging, swapping, what do you need, what is the number of cycles that you need and this whole thing fast charging, slow charging, what do you really need? And now, I am going to talk about charging and swapping infrastructure. What kind of infrastructure do we need? Because very often, this is what the government funds and government says, well, it does not have funds to fund this. And the reason why India's electric vehicle is not taking place off is because the infrastructure is not there. So, all are used to, as a business, I try to pursue, I want, I am selling petrol vehicle, I want to sell petrol vehicle, I do not want electric vehicle to come, I will ask all the question to slow down will only slow down, it will eventually come. So, let me deal with charging and swapping infrastructure. This question I had asked, do you need standardization? There are certain things you must standardize, there are other things you do not need to. For example, the connector, plug and socket, if you are going to charge in publicly anywhere, you should be able to like a petrol pump, you go on, you should be able to put it. So, the connector and plug and sockets has to be standardized. Everywhere plug and sockets are standardized. You go to a place 230 volt, there is a certain standard. You cannot just come with your own standard and try to plug it in. Every country has a different standard. Of course, you, when you go to another country, you have to take the adapter. So, yes, plugs and sockets has to be standardized. With the only public charges, we should have those standard plugs and sockets. The voltage and maximum current and power is standardized. When you go to in India, you get 230 volt. You cannot say I will get any volt. I suddenly want 700 volt, sorry, that cannot happen. Even 110 volt you cannot get. You buy a 110 volt device which from US, plug it into 220, it will blow. So, voltage and maximum power that you can draw. Normally, the vehicle battery needs to communicate. Communication between the charger and the vehicle is very important. Why is it very important? The charger will figure out what kind of battery it is, what rate should it charge. 
should it charge slow should it charge fast what are the risks associated with it what is the voltage maximum voltage what is the maximum current that communication becomes very important it is a protocol uh, that needs to be standardized. Similarly, communication with energy supplier. So, if I have a charger, I want to say I am drawing so much power. Of course, metering is one thing, but I may also saw if there are lot of charger drawing lot of power, it may impact the grid and therefore, communication with the grid, uh, grid supplier, the utility saying that no, no, please I am charging so much, is it okay if I take so much current? Metering, that is the only way to do to build the customer and protection needs to be. I would not say protection needs to be standard, but a minimum protection needs to be put in. This is what is must in any charger. It is actually true of when even you buy a mixer, this is standardized. Well, at least plugs and sockets are standardized, voltage current and maximum power is standardized. There is no communication. You have to only add communication. It is easy to standardize. But in India, we have not standardized it in 4 5 years. Different people want to standardize differently. Why would they want to delay electric vehicles? For swapping, what else do you need to do? You need to try to standardize maximum size and weight of the battery because it has to fit into a particular place. So, maximum size, smaller size can fit in, you can just put a spacer there and fit in. Maximum size needs to be performance, chemistry, etcetera need not be standardized. In fact, even the weight need not be standardized. What if somebody comes with a higher weight? Well, less likely to be used. Let the market forces play a role. A new business called energy operator may carry out charging as well as swapping of batteries. I told you battery swapping, energy operator sets of battery swapping infrastructure at convenient location, BPCL, enrolls customer who will take battery from me and swap from me. We will swap a discharge battery with charged work battery at multiple location. Energy operator, BPCL, purchases and owns batteries, have this bulk charger where these batteries are charged. Whenever you bring in a battery, it will charge, it will also cool the battery required. Hmm? And of course, it will give the battery to a customer. How much will they charge? They will charge for electricity used, they will also charge for the depreciation and interest of the battery plus the cost of using of charger infrastructure. So, they will, they will make it into a business. The important thing is this cost comes out to be less per kilometer than petrol costs if a petrol vehicle. You may also add one more thing that you do not want the battery to be stolen. What if I have taken a battery and run away? So, when we had worked, we had even designed a method of locking the battery. The battery will only work with a certain vehicle where it is assigned to. You take it out, you cannot use it anywhere else. A battery will only work with BPCL chargers because I have programmed it to be, I have done a small slot smart and you cannot change it. Hmm? So, this is something that we have done for battery swapping. What about chargers, charging? As I told you, best charging strategy is slow charging in at homes in nights or 2 to 3 hours slow charging at office or parking lot. In fact, my vehicle has almost run out of charge. As soon as I go, I will charge it. Uh, that will use an onboard charger. So, I carry a charger in my in my uh, vehicle. So, I will take that and charge it. It's a simple 15 ampere plug, 3 phase in India, 3 kilowatt it charges. Similar for 2 wheelers, 3 wheelers and small 4 wheelers. If I want a faster charge, I need 3 phase charging, 6 kilowatt, 20 kilowatt for, for my larger battery, but those are all important for larger vehicles and occasional fast charging. That fast charging for long distance trips, vacations, it could be AC charging, DC charging, standards are emerging for both of them. Buses and taxis may need more fast charging. 
where should you put charges? When we proposed this, government came out in spite of our protest announced it should be done at petrol pumps. I kept on asking this question, nobody listens. How long does it take? How long does when your vehicle goes, it fills petrol and gets out? 3 minutes, 5 minutes? So, the petrol pump business is designed, its size is designed so that 1, 2, 3 vehicles can come in and 3 to minutes they get out. Every 3 minutes a new vehicle will come, it makes sense. For electric charging, a vehicle will come and stand there for 1 hour. 5 vehicles will come, the petrol pump is full. 1 hour, they will only get money for 5 vehicles. First of all, very, very, very difficult. Hmm? So, petrol pump is a wrong place to ch charge, away, even fast charge, even for 1 hour, forget about 5 hours. Swapping can be done at petrol pump, that is the reason I was going, but swapping can be done in a similar time as petrol filling. This is a simple thing that needs to go into the head. So, where do you charge? Office and street parking, where do you park the vehicles? I park it for 3 hours, 5 hours, 7 hours, office, street parking, shopping, I go for shopping 2 hours, I go to a cinema hall, hmm? food complex. We cannot block space for charging, but charge while parking. What kind of public charges? You can have both slow and fast and you can put that. So, you go, if you are going to charge, you take only that parking spot where there is a fast charger, otherwise do not take that. And similarly, one can do for street parking where one does. Thank you.